Patients with severe aortic stenosis and a small aortic annulus who undergo transcatheter aortic valve replacement, or TAVR, are at risk for impaired valvular hemodynamic performance and associated adverse cardiovascular clinical outcomes. A new trial compares the two most currently used types of TAVR prostheses head-to-head in this population. In this randomized international trial, 716 patients with severe symptomatic aortic stenosis and a small aortic annulus were randomly assigned to undergo TAVR with either a self-expanding supraannular valve or a balloon-expandable valve. The first co-primary endpoint, evaluated for non-inferiority, was a composite of death, disabling stroke, or rehospitalization for heart failure through 12 months. The self-expanding valve was non-inferior to the balloon expandable valve, with 9.4% and 10.6% of the respective valve groups experiencing this endpoint. The second co-primary endpoint, evaluated for superiority, was bioprosthetic valve dysfunction. The self-expanding valve was superior to the balloon expandable valve, with 9.4% of the self-expanding valve group experiencing bioprosthetic valve dysfunction, as compared with 41.6% of the balloon expandable valve group. Major safety outcomes, including implantation of a new permanent pacemaker at 30 days and a composite of death or disabling stroke, appeared similar in the two groups. The authors conclude that among patients with a small aortic annulus who were undergoing TAVR for severe aortic stenosis, a self-expanding valve was non-inferior to a balloon expandable valve for major clinical outcomes and superior for bioprosthetic valve dysfunction. Full trial results are available at NEJM.org.